Kids are Chefs, where we prepare a great meal and a great topic. I'm Chef Zach, and today with us we have... Chef Timothy. Chef Kobe. Chef Graham. Chef Gabby. Chef Trill. And today we have a special guest with us, Chef Tim. Thank you, Chef, for having me here with you guys today. As he said, I am Tim Foster. I'm the principal of Whiteford Elementary School and Atlanta Public School. I've been in education for 22 years. So today we're going to talk about something that's very important to education while we create a fantastic pizza. Today we're going to talk about bullying in schools. Welcome back. So guys, we're gonna get into making these pizza. This is my first time making a pizza, so don't judge me on the taste, okay? <laughs> uh, but as we're doing this, we're gonna have a conversation around bullying in schools. Just to get that conversation start, just talk to me about you know what grade levels you're in and some of the good experiences you've had since you've been in school. Uh, well, I'm a senior this year. Um, I go to a hybrid school and I only go two days a week. And on the other days, I go. I'm actually doing well in college. And uh, but I, I've, I've always had a great school experience. I've had great relationships with my friends and my teachers. And, you know, it's been, it's been great. Good, yeah. good. Um, let's see. I'm in fourth. I'm in the fifth grade. Um, I attend April and uh, had a really good experience. Um, so school has been good to you. What about your grades? You good academically? Good. All A's. All A's. Good job. Okay. Good job. A little man on the end there. I'm Kobe and I get to go to the Tiger Cubs and I'm in third grade. In third grade. Cool. I'm Graham. I'm in eighth grade and I go one day a week. It, and the rest of the days I'm home doing homework. But yeah, school's been doing great for me. Good. 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 Weeks. good. Um, I'm Gabby and I go to Dutchtown Middle School and I'm in sixth grade and I really like school a lot and actually my grades are really good. I just got an A plus yesterday actually. Oh, good job. <laughs> good for you. My name is Trill and I go to Burnett, Burnett Elementary um, and as my brother. Um, and it's really fun so far. What grade are you? In fifth grade. Oh, wow. Good. So, let's talk about bullying. Can anybody give me an idea of what they think bullying is? I'll go for it. Uh, bullying, I feel like, is like tearing people down or um, saying things that are rude and hurtful um, or really aren't necessary at all. Exactly. You hit the nail right on the head. Anybody else want to add anything to that? Um, I think bullying is people are, are jealous or something has happened to them, so they want to be mean to others. Yeah, bullying can come sometimes come from someone being jealous of someone else. Anything else? They just they wanted to be treated better, so they treated you bad, so that you had the same experience that they had. Sometimes uh, bullying happens because the person that is bullying has been bullied or mistreated themselves. And so they think that that is the best way to treat other people, to bring or uh, lift themselves up. So yeah, all of those things are bullying. And it happens all the time in schools. And over the past couple of years, schools have really tried to make sure that one, it doesn't happen. And two, that when it does happen, that we really take care of it because we want all of our schools to be safe and a pleasant place for kids to come and learn. Have any one of you guys ever been bullied or witnessed someone being bullied? I've been bullied because I have freckles and people kept on talking about me. Yeah, I've been bullied. Yeah, like if you look a little different sometimes or your hairstyle is a little different than everybody else or you have freckles, then people might think that's funny and, and, and look at it as a way to make you feel bad about the way that you look. What did you do when that happened to you? I told the teacher. You told the teacher, and what did she do? 
She called the principal. She called the principal, a guy like me, right? And so when that happens, when it happens in my school, when the kids tell the teacher, the teacher comes and send a note to me and I have the kids to come down and talk to me about what happened and identify the person that, it, that it, it's being done by. And then I call that person down and we have a really good conversation about how you make somebody feel when they're a little different and make them feel bad when you're talking about them. Have you ever witnessed anybody else being bullied before? Yes. And what did you do? I Really, that's really good. First thing you want to do is make sure that you tell an adult because you don't want to get caught up in a situation that uh, cannot be good for you. So you want to tell an adult. But sticking up for someone else that is being bullied is very good and it's very brave. And more people have to do that. And when that happens, the bullying more likely to stop. Because the more, if you stand by and just watch it happen and don't do anything or don't say anything, then that person is going to think that it's okay and continue to do it. And we don't want that to happen. So now we're going to get uh, back into developing these delicious pizzas. Um, how are you looking on your dough? Is it rolled out really well? Yes, it is. It's a little tough, right? Well, yeah, that bubble's in it. Yeah, I just want mine to be a circle. It's not, it's not turning out too well. Uh, his is looking really good. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks really nice. We'll get some more. Even if I have a hobby shape. <laughs> These are some good looking pizzas, guys. Good job. Thank so you. what we're gonna Thank do you. now, we're gonna put these in the oven for about six to seven minutes. And we're gonna uh, continue our conversation about bullying. How about that? Wonderful. Hi guys, welcome back. So now we're gonna uh, continue our conversation around bullying. Uh, before we get started, anybody had a personal story you would like to share with you? I do. Um, I'm, in, I'm in high school now, but back in middle school, there was a, a group of guys in my class, and they would always make you know crude jokes, and uh, be, they would be rude to others, and think it'd be funny, and think it'd be jokes, and they'd say stuff like, you should go kill yourself, or um, you should be alive, and stuff like that, and they would joke about it, thinking that it'd be funny, but obviously, you know, it hurts me to, you know, my six-year-old, sixth-grade self, um, you know, to hear all this stuff going around me. And so, uh, I brought it up to my mom, and I brought it up to my teachers, and we got it taken care of, but, um, and that's usually how a lot of bullying start uh, with a group of guys or girls who want to get a laugh on a larger group and they want to entertain. And so sometimes people who uh, come off as weak, uh, they'll choose that person and begin to make nasty comments about just so the crowd can laugh. So those people that were laughing are just as guilty of bullying as the person who's actually saying those cool things. Uh, that's why it's very important that when you see something like that happen, you don't engage in it. When you go get an adult or say, you know guys, this, this is not right. Uh, consider the feeling of the person that you're talking to. Um, and so anybody else, anybody else has an uh, experience they want to talk about? What's the best thing to see somebody get well, it depends on the situation. Uh, say, for instance, you're, you're in an elementary school and you're a fifth grader, and you see a group of second graders that are bothering another student. You can intervene with that because you're a little older than they are, and so you're able to talk to them and say, you know, guys, this is not the best thing to do. Um, you maybe you want to apologize and, and, and talk to them about what they can do differently. If you're in a situation where you're the younger person and these are some, some really big kids or grown people, then what you want to do is go get an adult 
because you don't want to get yourself involved or engage in something that may not be safe for you. So the best thing to do in that case is to go and get an adult. Um, and if you can talk to the person that is being bullied, bullied um, they really would need a friend to like say, you know, talk to me about it, um, you know, and kind of comfort them uh, if you can. But the, the first thing you want to do is go and get an adult that can come and kind of diffuse the situation. What plans do you have for teachers and principals to do about um, the bullying, the people bully, bullying kids? Um, the first thing we do at, as a principal of the school, the first thing that I do, uh, we want to do is prevent bullying from ever happening. Um, so we talk to our kids, the entire school, about bullying. Uh, we have programs about bullying. Uh, we show videos about bullying. So the first thing we want to do is make kids aware of it and then try to do everything that we can to prevent it from happening. Even so, sometimes it still happens. And when it does, we have a plan in place to kind of uh, take care of it. First thing we want to do is have a conversation with the kid that is being bullied and find out what is really happening, how often it's happening, where it's happening, and what is happening. Once we determine that, then we talk to the person that is, is, bully, is, is doing the bullying. I generally call them down to the office and we have a conversation about what you're being accused of, what the kids are saying that you're doing to them and how it makes them feel. We involve the counselor of the school because sometimes the bully may be someone that's sad or depressed and the only way to get that out is to take it out with someone else. So there's generally a root cause to why someone is bullying someone else. So we try to get to the, the core of why they're doing it. Um, we call the parent, of course. We notify the parent and let them know uh, what is happening. And then we want to make sure the person that is being bullied is feel safe and secure at school. So it may be that the bully is moved out of the classroom if they share a class. Uh, if it's really bad, it may be that the bully have to be moved to a different school. Uh, I haven't had a case in my school where that has had to happen. Generally, when you have those conversations and find out why a person is bullying someone else, it usually diffuses it and it goes away. Uh, but in those instances where it doesn't, then there are other courses of action that I as the principal have to take to make sure, because we want to protect the person that is being bullied. That is our foremost, foremost priority, because everybody that comes to school has to feel safe. Definitely. How do you like, I know you can't really prevent it, but how would you say you could prevent it? Uh, just making kids aware of it and what it looks like. Um, and get as many people involved as we can. Uh, because like with your story, this bully, he kept doing it because people were helped, was laughing, he was getting what he wanted out of it. Mm -hmm. But as a group, if we say, you know, you can say that, but we're not going to laugh, we're not going to participate then that bully, what he's trying to do is not going to happen. So he's going to take another course, he's not going to do it anymore. So just making kids aware of it, and when they see it, what to do about it. That's awesome. I have a friend in third grade, and he bullies other people. And what should I do? Should I help him? Um, if you get involved. When, you're, when, you're, when your friend is the bully, um, because they're your friend, they're probably going to listen to you. So I think you should have a conversation with him and say, you know, when you do that, that really makes the other kid feel really bad and he cries, and that's not a good thing. Uh, I think we, I don't think we need to do that anymore. I think having a conversation with him is the best, but if you find that it, it still happens, then you want to go and let an adult know. You don't want it to continue all day after day after day. As soon as you see it happen, have a conversation with them and try to reason with them. And if that doesn't work, then go and get an adult involved because we want to stop it as quickly as possible. I have a friend and she's in fifth grade with me and um, she bullied another friend and when she gets picked on because how she looks, I stand up for her. But when they keep on going, um, when they keep on messing with her, I go to her. And that's exactly what you should do. Um, like I said earlier, you don't want to put yourself in a situation that is not safe for you. But at the same time, you want to make sure that the person that is being bullied is safe and taken care of. And sometimes that uh, involves going to, to going and get an adult and getting them involved. Uh, so I make good grades in school and other kids tease me about it, so what should I do about it? First, continue to make good grades, uh, because at the end of the day, that's why you're in school. 
Um, you can have, try and have a conversation with them about, you know, guys, so I make good grades. I'm still cool. I still like video games. Um, you know, I still like to play basketball, watch basketball, I like sports. Uh, so just being smart makes me no different, makes me no different than you. Um, and if that doesn't work, always go and let an adult know, okay? But don't let anyone discourage you from being smart uh, because that's why you're in school. You want to become the best person that you can be. Well, there's this kid that's been bullying me for a long time, and he's not just the problem. Like, he'll push me around, and then his mom sees it and thinks that I'm the problem. And so she always comes to me and starts screaming at me, saying that I'm the problem and that I need to stop bullying her son. And I don't know what to do. Situations like bullying can be tricky because a lot of times it's your word against mine. Uh, but when you have an adult in that situation, uh, the mother of the kid that is doing the bullying, uh, that just makes it that much worse. Uh, so what I would su suggest you do is to get your mom, your parents involved. Uh, if it's happening at school, you want to get the school administration involved and let them know that particularly there is bullying where people just talk to you and say bad and mean things. But then there is bullying where people are physically violent towards you. And that's, that one is just as bad as the verbal one. Um, and so you want to get an adult involved in that as quickly as possible. Your school administration, if they're not listening to you, uh, the school counselor, uh, the school principal, the assistant principal, if those people aren't listening to you, then your, your, your parents have to become your voice. Uh, and let your mom or your dad know what is happening and that they need to come to the school and have a conversation with the adults in the school so that you can feel safe. Because nobody should want to have to come to school and not feel safe um, and not be able to enjoy school because that's what it's all about. Learning, enjoying your friends, and having a good time. And that can't happen if someone's constantly bothering or picking or hitting or shoving and pushing you about. And that just should not happen. So guys, it's been great having this conversation with you about bullying. I hope I've been able to answer all of your questions about it and give you some strategies uh, in case you are bullied or you see someone that is being bullied. Uh, because like I said, we want to make sure that school is enjoyable for all kids. Um, so anything that you can do to prevent it or when you see it happening to uh, stop it, please do that. Sweet, let's go eat some pizza. Thank our special guest, Chef Principal Tim. All right, and we're going to dig into these delicious pizzas we made. I'm hungry. All right, here we go.